Hello students, today we'll discuss Edexcel International GCSE Physics Unit 4PH1 Paper 1P. It is sample from year 2019. My name is Nariman Melim. I'm located in Baku and here you can see my mobile and email. For this paper students should have ruler and calculator. So this is the cover page. These are equations that are, will be given at the exams. Before exam, you will know which equation you should learn and which equation will be given. We will need uh, equation for orbital speed, this one. Uh, velocity, final velocity, initial velocity, acceleration, and distance traveled, and two equations for gas laws. G will take 10 meters per second squared. Let's start. Question one. Which of these objects orbits a planet? You know Moon, uh, so Moon orbits planet Earth, there are also other moons, for example, around Jupiter. B. What is the correct name for our galaxy? Remember, it is Milky Way. C. Which of these objects has the largest mass? Sun, Earth, Comet, Artificial Satellites. For sure, it is Sun. Which of these stars is the coolest? So, if we look to visible spectrum, from red to violet, we see that red has the uh, greatest wa uh, wavelengths. It, so it, it means that uh, and when objects are heated, first they send out red light and then, then finally uh, roy beef, finally blue or violet. So red is the coolest star. Question two. This question is about the motion of a ball. A. A ball is at rest on a trapdoor. Complete the diagrams to show the forces acting on the ball. Label the forces. So I have drawn two arrows of the same size, labeled one weight and another normal contact force. As a result, I will get three points. The trapdoor swings open and the ball falls to the ground. The ball does not bounce when it is hit, it hits the ground. So here we watch how much distance it traveled, 1.3 meters, so we'll need it. And for sure it started from rest. Show that the final speed of the ball at the instant before it hits the ground is about 5 meters per second. So from equations that is given, Knowing that u initial velocity is 0 meters per second from rest, distance traveled is plus 1.3 meters, acceleration is downward also plus 10 meters per second squared. We substitute these values and we get v squared equals 26, v equals square root of 26, 5.1 to two significant figures. Why two significant figures? Because S is with two significant figures and acceleration is also with two significant figures. C. The graph shows how the distance traveled by the ball changes with time. Determine the time taken for the ball to hit the ground. After, uh, so when the horizontal line starts, distance doesn't change, so it hits the ground. So it is 0 0.5 and small square. Between 0 0.5 and 0 0.6, difference is 0 0.1 and there are 10 squares. So we will divide by 10. The value of small square is 100. So we get 151, 0.51 seconds. Distance stops changing after at this time. State the equation relating average speed, distance moved, and time taken. This you should learn. So average speed equals distance by time. Calculate the average speed. So we need at uh, after 0 0.40 seconds. So we return to the graph. 
after the, uh, at 0 0.4 second it has traveled 0 0.8 meters and we can read here also uh, that it is 0 it is not 1 it is not so it is 0 040 and it is 0 080 so time 0 040 distance 0 080 we divide so we have two significant figures, two significant figures, so answer should be with two significant figures. So if we, you get two, you should add yourself 0 0.0, 2, 0 0.2.0 meters per second. Explain, explain how the graph shows that the ball accelerates when it falls. Speed of this graph equals gradient of tangent. Gradient increases with time. It means the speed increases with time. A 12 volt battery is connected to a component X and a fixed resistor R as shown. State the name of component X. So it is light dependent resistor because we have element of resistor and two rays. Draw a voltmeter on the circuit diagram connected to show the voltage of component X. So at the beginning it's the end. So two and it's connected. This is connect called connection in parallel, and this is a, a symbol of voltmeter. The voltage across component X is 12 volt. Resistor R has a value of 840 ohm. Shows that the current in a meter A1 is approximately 001. A1 is showing current through resistor R. Use equation voltage equal current times resistance. Rearranging this formula for current, we get voltage over resistance. Substituting values for resistor R, 12 volt and 840 ohm, uh, we get this value approximately. 0014 with two significant figures or 001 as they ask us. When the circuit is placed in a daylight, the current in A the current of the through A3 uh, A2 is so much. So we have we know current through uh, X, we know current through a and in daylight for, through air it doesn't change so this current combine and give us current a3 so i3 will be sum of these currents and we get 0, 0, 0025 explain what happens to the current through a3 when the circuit is placed in darkened room resistance of ldr decreases increases less current through ldr and less total current through a3 this question is about waves. The diagram shows a wave. What is a wavelength? So, first of all, we should understand the scale used here. 10 centimeters correspond to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mid squares. It, it means that one mid square corresponds to one centimeter. Between crest and crest, we have one, two, three, four mid squares. So we have 4.0 centimeters. And we choose answer A. What is the amplitude? For amplitude, we have the same scale. 10 centimeters correspond to 10 mid squares. Now let's see how, mid squares, how many mid squares we have between peak and peak. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight whole mid squares and two, two, and let's say two of five. So two and two, four point two of over five additional peak distance. So totally we have. 8.8 .8 mid middle squares which corresponds to 
8 centimeters, but amplitude is half of peak to peak value. So we divide by 2, we get 4.4, .4, so we choose answer B. Uh, B. The diagram shows the types of radiation in the electromagnetic spectrum. Which of the following statement about electromagnetic waves is correct? They all have the same amplitude. That can be different. They all have the same frequency. For sure, they have different frequency. They all have the same speed in free space. Yes, it is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. They all have the same wavelengths. That is wrong. They are different. They have different wavelengths. Electromagnetic waves have many different uses. Explain the uses of three different radiation in the electromagnetic spectrum. Six points. So you should choose three radiation, name them, use them, and explain why they are used. For example, gamma rays, why they are used to sterilize medical tools because gamma kill bacteria. X-rays used to photograph bones because X-rays can penetrate soft tissue but not bone. Ultraviolet used for detecting security ink because it fluorescence with ultraviolet lighting. Or another combination. Infrared used for optical fiber communication because they can undergo total internal reflection. Microwaves used to satellite for satellite communication because they go through Earth's atmosphere and reach satellites. Radio waves used for long-range communication because they can be reflected from Earth's atmosphere. Finished with this question. Question 5. A gas is contained inside the sealed syringe. Uh, a. A plunger is pushed so that the gas is compressed and its volume reduced at constant temperature. I. Because com uh, before compression, the gas pressure is 100 kPa and the volume of the gas is 7.5 cm3. After compression, the volume of gas is 5. Calculate the pressure of the gas after compression. So given equation is P1V1 equals P2V2. Index 1 corresponds to start and 2 corresponds to end. At start, we have 100 kPa, 7.5 cm3. In the end, we have 5 cm3, and we don't know what is the pressure. We substitute known values. We multiply 100 by 7.5 and divide by 5 by coefficient. We get 150. Explain why decreasing the volume changes the pressure of the gas in the syringe. You should use ideas about particles in your answer. Pressure equals force over area. Pressure is produced by collision of molecules with walls of container. As volume decreases, molecules collide with walls more frequently, producing greater force and act on smaller area. So these two factors produce greater pressure. The plunger of syringe is released and the gas returns to its original pressure of 100 kPa. The plunger is then held in position so the volume of the gas cannot change. The gas is now heated and its temperature increases. Describe how the average kinetic energy of gas particles changes with temperature of the gas as the temperature of the gas increases. Uh, remember, average kinetic energy of molecules increases in proportion with Kelvin temperature. The temperature of the gas increases from 20 to 65. Calculate the pressure of the gas after it is heated. Given information, again, index 1 is start, index 2 is end. Start 100 kPa and we change temperatures to Kelvin temperatures by adding 273 substitute values. Cross multiply, so we get 100 multiplied by 338 and 233 multiplied by P2. Multiply 100 and 338 and divide by 293. We get 150 kilopascals, three significant figures. Why is three significant? Because temperature is three significant figures. 100 kilopascal is also three significant figures. A student investigates a wind turbine. The student places an electric fan in front of the wind turbine. The wind turbine is connected to a voltmeter. When the wind 
turbine turns, it generates a voltage. The student decides to investigate how the angle of the blades of the wind turbine affects the voltage it generates. State two control variables for this investigation. So we are going to change only the angle of the blades of the turbine. It means that all the rest should be controlled. For example, distance between fan and turbine, fan speed, number of turbine blades, turbine angle, fan angle. Orientation of fan with respect to turbine. The student obtains the following results. So, angle is changing from 0 to 90, voltage changes from 0 to 2.2. Independent variable is blade angle, dependent is voltage. So when we plot the graph, so we should choose the scale. So voltage changes from 0 to 2.2. So we can have either 22 divisions or 11 divisions. If we calculate, we will get here 12 divisions, so it fits. It fits, it means that we will take 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and so on. For angles from 0 to 90, 9, 90 degrees, so 9 divisions, yes, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 divisions here. So when you choose axis, they should occupy more than half for each axis. Then we plot points and then we draw smooth curved line. What we see here first increases, reach maximum, and then decreases. So draw a curve of best fit line on the graph. We did. Describe the relationship between the blade angle and the voltage. Voltage increases and decreases as blade angle is increased. Maximum voltage when blade angle is 20 degrees. The student decides to change the investigation to see how the voltage is affected by the number of blades. State the type of graph the student should use to display the results. Remember this name, bar graph. Justify choice of graph. Number of blades is a discrete, not continuous variable. Question 7. The circuit shows a car battery cha charging from an alternating current supply. Sketch a graph to show <coughs> what is meant by AC. So uh, here you can have either voltage or current over time. And it should be, for example, sine function. It, what is important, it should have positive part and negative part. So one direction and opposite direction. State the reason why the circuit contains a diet. The di a diet only allows current in one direction. The 12 car battery is connected to two identical filament lamps so that the voltage across each lamp is 6 volt. Draw the circuit diagram. So 12 volts, 6 volt each should get, so it means that they are connected in series with the battery. State the equation relating power, current, and voltage. Power equal current and voltage. The power of each lamp is 330 millivolt. Calculate the current in a lamp. Rearranging, we get current equals power over voltage. Substituting, we get 330 milliwatt over 6 volt. And then uh, to uh, turn milliamperes into amperes, we divide by 1000, so we get 0055 amperes. 8. Sound travels as a wave. A. What of this, uh, which of these statements about sound wave is incorrect? So they can be reflected, yes. They can travel through a vacuum, no. They can be refracted, yes. They transfer energy, no. Sound waves are a type of wave known as longitudinal. Name the other type of wave. Transfers. Give one example of this other type of wave. Water waves. A buzzer produces a sound of frequency and wavelength. State the equation linking waves, speed, frequency, speed, frequency and wavelengths. Calculate the speed 
of the sound, so we should change frequency in the hertz by multiplying by thousand centimeters intermeters by dividing by hundred. <coughs> then we substitute these values, and we realize that we need only two significant figures because here two significant figures, here two significant figures. So answer we approximate to two significant figures, 350 meters per second at this. It is uh, real, uh, the values that you probably should remember to be sure that you get correct answer. D. Two the two students investigate the Doppler effect by throwing a buzzer to each other. Student A throws a buzzer to student B. When buzzer is thrown, student A notices that the sound produced changes. Explain how the sound heard by student A changes, you may include a diagram in your answer. Uh, so, because source of wave is reproaching, we obs should observe redshift, so means longer wavelengths, and which corresponds to uh, bigger wavelengths and smaller frequency, because uh, speed doesn't change, right. Explanation. When the source of wave is stationary, after three periods, we get three wavelengths. If it is moving away, after three periods, we get again three wavelengths, but for longer period of time, the wavelength is increasing. Question 9. This is a question about nuclear energy. A. Nuclear fusion can take place between different isotopes of hydrogen to produce an isotope of helium. Complete the nuclear equation for this process. For, first of all, in nuclear equation, top values on, on the left should equal top values on the right. So here top values 2 plus 3 equals 5. And here should be 4 to get 5. Bottom values 1 plus 1 is 2, 2, and here should be 0 to balance. So we get normal uh, symbol for helium and neutron. 4, 2, 1, 0. This process also results in the release of energy, state where the fusion process takes place naturally, in sun, in stars. 3i. Explain why the isotope of hydrogen must be heated to a very high temperature for fusion to take place. Uh, hydrogen nucleus, nuclei are positive and they repel. So they need high speed to get close enough to fuse together. Nuclear fusion also results in a release of energy. Explain how nuclear fusion differs from nuclear Fusion differ from nuclear fusion. When fusion occurs, a large nucleus splits into smaller nuclei, two nuclei, but the, when fusion occurs, small nuclei fuse together to form a larger nucleus. Question 10. The International Space Satellite is a satellite that orbits the Earth at a height of 409 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. The ISS has an orbital speed of so much and period of so much. Calculate the orbital radius of ICC. Give answer to three significant figures. So given formula orbital speed is V equals to PR over T. We change minutes into seconds by multiplying to 60. Then we arrange formula. First we multiply both sides by T. We get VT equals to PR. Then we divide VT by coefficient 2p. Then don't forget to put brackets to the numerator and denominator. Put this into the calculator, you'll get 6780 kilometers. Answer to three significant figures. Calculate the radius of Earth using your value for the orbital radius. So radius, orbital radius is Earth radius plus height. Earth radius equals orbital radius minus height, so we get this value. 11. 
Uh, main sequence stars can vary in brightness, color, and mass. Describes the evolution of both low mass stars and high mass stars after they join the main sequence. So, in your answer, you should mention that all main sequence stars fuse hydrogen into helium. Lower mass stars stay on the main sequence line for longer. Low mass stars become red giant. High mass stars become red supergiants. Red giants become a white dwarf. Supergiants become a supernova. And then supernova becomes either a neutron star or a black hole. So write down all ideas that you know because it is six points. Penguins are adapted to survive in cold conditions. The adaptations help them to maintain a constant body temperature of 39 degrees Celsius. Penguins also crowd together in groups of many penguins. A. Students want to investigate how the temperature of a penguin is affected when they crowd together in groups. She uses this apparatus. Each test tube represents a penguin. So we have seven test tube, thermometer inside one, single test tube, thermometer inside another. This statement describes the method she should use. The statements are in wrong order. Put them in correct order by numbering the boxes. Some of boxes have been done for you. So first, we tie seven test tubes together, heat the water to 90 degrees, place equal volume of water in all test tubes, put thermometers in the middle of test tube and single test tube, take the temperature of the two test tube, it is beginning, and take the temperature every minute, it is end, record for 15 minutes, and record all data in the table. The student draws a table to record her results and suitable, add suitable headings to her table. So standard is quantity slash qu uh, unit, time slash minute. Here we have temperature slash degrees Celsius. And here we have two columns, single test tube and seven test tube. Right. Predict how the temperature change for the single test tube will be for the temperature change for the group of test tubes. The single test tube will cool faster. Draw a sketch graph for the result you predict the students will obtain. Label and use the axis below. So we'll have temperature over time. Temperature slash degrees Celsius over time slash minute. Uh, so two graphs start from the same point, so because we put them the same water at the beginning, and single test tube goes steeper than seven test tube or lower. Explain your prediction using ideas about thermal energy transfer. My solution contradicts Mark's scheme. Be attentive. So I think that there are three ways of heat loss. A case of seven test tube. For test tube inside, convection is the same because the same tube, the same area of air above, and so on. Total loss by radiation is much less as surrounding radiation is absorbed back. Conduction is less as surrounding tubes have higher temperature than surroundings and heat outflow will be less. Here are two adaptations that help penguins to maintain a constant body temperature. Most of their bodies are covered with layers of fat. They have flat overlapping feather. Explain why this feature helps penguins to maintain a constant body temperature. So layers of fat act as an insulator to keep penguin warm. warm. Flat overlapping feather, feather trap pocket of air, and either reduce thermal energy loss by convection, or air is poor conductor, so energy loss is reduced. Paper is over. Thank you for your attention.